What is LeBron James doing? You are guarding Harrison Barnes, okay? I mean, wh why are you playing so far off of him? Look what... What is going on here? Is the game started? Okay, so this Kevin Herter three goes up. Look at these two Lakers players right here. Are they going to box out? Nope, they're staring at the ball. You got to get into this player's jersey, box them out. Into this player's jersey, box them out. When you don't box out, these are 50-50 balls. And there you go. If you are Thomas Bryant, you got to play up on DeMontez Sabonis. Look at this. You're not even covering him until he's already here in the paint. So now that forces a double team. <laughs> Classic. Here's a down screen. Thomas Bryant, you got to get attached to your man Sabonis and get your arms out so Kevin Herter cannot curl. He has to go out and this player can get over the screen. When you don't get your arms out, Kevin Herter curls right into a wide open three. Dennis Schroeder is going to stunt at this Trey Lyles drive too early. Look at this. Hold on. A so when Trey Lyles comes this way, stop. S he needs to be level to you when you stunt at him. Because now when you stunt, the dribble gets picked up and you recover. Look at Dennis Schroeder stunting too early here. You haven't gotten the dribble picked up. So that was totally pointless. So now Trey Lyles' dribble is still alive. Lakers are in a zone. This is exactly how you get killed in a 2-3 zone when two people guard one. This player can very easily just guard the ball right here, and this player needs to go to the wing. But if two people are guarding one, that means zero people are guarding another. This is total laziness on LeBron James's part. There's no excuse other than you jogging back that this Kings player gets ahead of you. Sprint back. Watch LeBron here. Lightly walking back. Pathetic. Okay, this Lakers player's got to do a way better job going underneath this ball screen. Like, as this player comes over this ball screen, you got to go immediately under. Look at how long it's taking this Lakers player to go under. So now this player's got the angle. That's going to draw a second defender, and you know what happens next. Okay, you cannot lean towards the screen early. Look at what happens in this case. So you lean towards the screen early. This player hasn't even set the angle of the screen. So you're going this way right now. Look what happens. The screen's getting set to this angle. So huh, you have no chance of defending this ball screen now. Every screen has to be defended. LeBron, your man is setting a down screen. Get attached, arms out. So this player can't curl. He has to go out, and this player has a chance to get over the screen. You don't do that. So stop. Look at the separation now off this ball screen. It's all because you didn't defend the down screen. So what does that mean? This player's going to have to come over and double. This player now can easily just cut back door. Terrible. Okay, I mean, this double team is unnecessary. Thomas Bryan is guarding DeMontes Sabonis just fine. I mean, look, he's doing fine. Why is this player coming to double? Oh, actually, why are you triple teaming? But it's this player that gets you killed because, look, he comes to double, and, uh, yeah, that happens. Shell drill, okay? So this player's left foot right here guarding in the corner can be parallel to the block right here, okay? So you want to be further in because now you don't have to, and your right foot's out wide stance. Now I don't have to move. When Harrison Barnes comes this way, I can stunt without moving my feet, and I'll easily be able to recover on the air time of this pass. But you're too far to the corner because, look, instead of there being no driving lane, now Harrison Barnes has a lane right to the rim. If you're this Lakers player right here, your back has to be to the baseline. So you're seeing ball and man at all times. When you're guarding with your back to the sideline, you are begging, as you can see, to get beat back door. What are you doing if you're guarding Sabonis here? Patrick Beverly is waiting to help you. So let's get the other way and force Sabonis into this help. When you let him go this way, I see no Lakers bodies ready to help you. Every screen has to be defended the right way. This player cannot go this way through the screen. You have to chase over the top. When you go up the gut, look at the angle. So now look at the separation because you went up the gut of that screen. Okay, so a double team is coming on Sabonis, that's fine, but this player is standing in no man's land. You don't need to be in the paint. You gotta be out here, okay? So not only are you standing in no man's land, you're also staring at the ball. You cannot guard like this if you're Dennis Schroeder. You can see what Dennis Schroeder's doing. He's leaning towards the screen this way. Well, now this player's gonna say, well, why would I come off the screen this way when I can easily just beat you back door that way? So look what, now look what that draws. That draws a second defender to have to help, nobody to take Keegan Murray, and 
there it is. Okay, first of all, this player's got to sprint back. It doesn't matter that your man's at half court. Get to the three-point line. Why is that? Because now Dennis Schroeder, look, if you're at the three-point line where you're supposed to be, Dennis Schroeder now can turn and force Kevin Herter into this help. You'll have no, nothing to do but help. Your man's still out here. But there, that option isn't there. So now Dennis Schroeder's going to get cooked one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, shot goes up. Okay, if you are this Lakers player here, please get in front of Kevin Herter and box out. Look what look what this Lakers player does. Just stares at the shot. So now this is a 50-50 ball because you just chose not to box out for some reason. Okay, this Lakers player cannot be playing this far off Keegan Murray, okay? You need to get up because whether you're switching this handoff or not, like right now, this it, you're trying to switch this handoff but because you're playing so far off of him, he doesn't even need to come off the handoff because he's wide open for three already. Lakers are trapping this ball screen. Backside help is a total non-negotiable. This player has to get up. You, the, a trap is pointless if it, you can just easily hit the roll man like this. Because easily hit the roll man, now, now it's a three on two. Three kings, two Lakers, and so now it's just who's wide open for Sacramento. You cannot sag off of De'Aaron Fox. And even, why would I? Look at this. Why are you sagging when Patrick Beverly is right here waiting to help you? Get up. Up. Force him into this help. I also have help this way too. But you sag and all that help is pointless. There is no such thing as jogging back in transition. You have to sprint back. Look at this Lakers player here. Jogging. So, of course, that happens. All right, the Lakers are in this drop coverage. I cannot stand, but that's not the problem here. This Lakers player has to let this Lakers player know that a screen is coming because look at how much space there is. Stop. If he knew the screen was coming, look at how much space there is to get over it. But instead, he's going to get totally surprised by a screen. So, of course, that happens.